Hey guys, it's your boy Kerberos, and welcome to my hey, review for episode 6 of season 6 of Game of Thrones. Another solid episode. Hell, every episode except episode 1 has been mm, unbelievable. Top class. Episode 1 was utter shit. And then all the others have been brilliant in their own little way. Hey. Let's just run down this episode, shall we? First of all, I'm gonna get the boring shit out of the way. Samo went home with Gilly, tried to pass Gilly off as his girl and Sam, little Sam as his baby. He, but Gilly couldn't keep her mouth shut. Sam's father found out she was a wildling. They took off before her. Her Sam's father was obviously going to kill them because, you know, why else would he agree to have them there having learned she was a wildling? Hmm. So, yeah, Sam did the right, smart thing and he got them and paced out. Also, he took um, a sword, his family sword. Hurt. So, yeah. That's what happened with Sam. Hmm. Can we never see Sam again in this show? Because his storyline is so boring. Hmm. Let's get to the exciting stuff, shall we? Let's start start different and let's start with King's Land. Let's start with King's Landing. Normally I start with the start some or something good. But let's start with King's Landing in Jamie and the Tyrell army, he, they march up to the High Sparrow and they're like, yo, she is not walking down naked. Nah, that's not happening. But then, a uh, High Sparrow pulls his ace, ace, which is Tommen, having sided with the fate. They form an alliance. Jamie is kicked out of the King's Guard and sent to River Run, where, remember, is where Brienne is going. Uh oh. Are they going to fight? Because Brienne almost kicked. would have killed Jamie's ass if she didn't have to take him back alive. And Jamie knows that. He lost that fight. So. That should be interesting. See what happens there. Um, Jamie and Cersei are still oh, oh, madly in, into their incest love. And they're still dropping hints about what is going to happen with Cersei's his trial by combat. I mean... When is that going to happen? Is that... I mean... So... There's only four episodes left, which... You know, sounds crazy. This season is flown. Bye. Hey. Makes you wish they are doing... They did more episodes, you know? Because the next two seasons are just so short. What's the point? Just make more episodes. Oops. Pussy ass bitches. Anyway, um, yeah, that's everything that happened in King's Landing. Um, there wasn't too much that happened with Daenerys. She rode with um, with the Dothraki and the Second Sons guy, whose name I still can't remember, or why I don't know. I can't remember his name, but he says the. Danny, you know, you're a conqueror, conqueror, pretty much. And Danny, she rides off. Off. She says, wait here, I'll be right back. After some amount of time. And your man and the Duff Records chilling on their horses, waiting, waiting, waiting. And then, boom, here comes Drogon. Fucking. With Danny on our back. Question. Did Drogon eat Danny's horse or did she just leave it there? 
I don't know if we're gonna get. I don't think we're gonna get the answer to that question. But it's just a random question, I guess. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that happened. That actually, that is everything that happened with Danny. Let's stick with uh, across the narrow sea and go to Aya, who failed again at being a faceless person. She couldn't kill the fake. Queen Cersei, and now the the other chick, the other girl, who has been kicking her ass for her five episodes straight, pretty much, is now been granted the opportunity to go and kill Aya. So I'm guessing those two are gonna clash. Aya is gonna die, which is another Stark. That is dead, or I is gonna survive, and somehow she's going to try and get back to who the Seven Kingdoms. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen? Um, yeah. You could see the disappointment in Jagan Agar's face. He, he said, girl had so much potential. Obviously, he's thinking, your one's going to kill Aya. Hopefully, that's not the case. We've seen enough Starks dead. No, let's just have him win, okay? You know? Okay, George R. R. Martin, you've had your fun with the Starks. You can stop now. Leave him be, okay? I don't know why I'm saying this. He won't ever see this video. <laughs> um, what else? What else? Well, there's only one storyline left. And that is... Oh, wait! Someone returned. Walder Frey. He isn't dead yet. Begging Game of Thrones, please kill him and kill Ramsay. That's the two big deaths you need to do this season. I don't know if Cersei's gonna be killed if the Mountain loses Clegane Bowl or whatever the fuck her. Whoever. If that's what's gonna happen during her trial by combat, I don't know. Oh, oh. Speculate away. Hey. Will there be Glain Bowl or will there not be Glain Bowl? I don't give a shit. It, I just want to see it. I don't want speculation. I want action. Hmm. That's what this show is about. Action. Also, nudity. Violence. A lot of death. But mostly action. Hmm. That's why the Marine... The scenes with... In, um... With, um... Fucking Martells are fucking shit. If a character is doing nothing, they are worthless. This is why Sam and Gilly are boring as shit. They do nothing for the show. So, that's that. Now, to north of the wall with Mira and Bran. So Mira tried her best, she tried her best, but she couldn't pull all the sled and Bran anymore. Why she didn't just carry him is beyond me. He maybe he's too heavy, you know, putting on some weight there, uh, Bran. Cheeky bugger. But, and, and just as the it looks like they're about to be killed, well, some dude on a horse rocks in and sets fire to all the whites. Eats and hmm, hmm, writes them off, off to be safe for another while. Oh, and surprise, it's Benjamin! He's back! Where the hell has he been? There's... So, he was in season one, 
He disappeared. Now he's back. Five fucking seasons later. Wonder if he knows what's happened. Someone should tell him his brother is dead. His nephew is dead. His, his other nephew is captured. Heard the dire wolves are almost all dead. It's just a mess with the Stark family. But hey, we have another Stark. And he is blue as fuck. So yeah, we actually found out what happened to him. He got stabbed eh? and left to die by the Night King. Hey? Bad move, Night King. Because the children of Forest are like, oh. He's not dead. Let's let's save him by he stabbing him with dragon glass. Yes, that's that's logic. So Oop Benjin survived death, but is now half white. He didn't become a full white walker because the children of the forest saved him in time. And apparently now Bran is the Three-Eye Raven, because of course he is, why not? And, oh, the flashbacks. The Mad King, R plus L equals J, they were just, you know, the fan service in those brief flashes were mind-blowing. So, yeah. That is, uh, that is, that is all. So. Oh, what did you guys think of episode 6? Let me know in the comment section below. Like this. If you enjoyed it, subscribe so you don't miss any more videos in the future if you are new to the channel. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.